Hello friend, welcome in the day 12 of the 30 days of code in hacker range. Today we solved the inheritance problem. So let's get started. So you simply read the talk section in this problem. You are given two classes person and student. Her person is a base class and student is draft. So what is base class and derived class? To solve this problem, you need to know about the, what is inheritance. So if you go to Google and search for inheritance, probably you land at the Java T point. So here is the definition of inheritance. Inheritance is a process in which one object acquires all the properties and behavior of its parent object automatically. So I think you understand what is inheritance. But in an inheritance, the two classes are present. One is the drive class and another is the base class. So what is base class? So base class is the parent class from where the all the properties and behavior are inherited. And the derived class is a class which takes all the properties from the base class or parent class. So here all the definition are present and you simply go through this guide and you definitely understand what is inheritance. I think you get some help to solve this problem. So I simply go to my inheritance problem. So I continue read this talk section. So complete code for the person and a declaration of the student are provided for you in the editor. Observe the student inherits all the properties of the person. So student class inherit all the properties of the person class. So here complete the student class by writing the following. So you need to complete the student class. So a student class constructor which has four parameters. So one is the first name and another is the last name. These two are the string type and after that an integer id and vector type test score and score are present. So what is vector? So in the previous video we use the static array because for static array we need to define the size of the array before the use of the array. So in C++ it support the dy dynamic programming. So that means you need not define the size of the array before use in the program. I also use the vector concept to solve this problem and the inheritance properties is the part of object oriented programming in C++ program. So if you go to my editor, you simply look what is the programming language option present. Here C is not present. That means for C, the dynamic programming concept are not present and it's not support the object oriented programming. So that means we use the C++ for solving this problem. So here is the grading scale at present. So like 92 to 100 the letter grade is O, 80 to 90 E, 70 to 80 A and 55 to 70 P and 40 to 55 is D and the less than 40 is simply letter grade the T. So I simply go to my input format. So you are not responsible for reading the following input from std in. So you need not worry about the input format and how the input are taken from user because it's all present in the lock stop code which I show in the editor. So for the first line, the first name, last name and the id are present. So after that you simply go to the second line and take some input for number of test cases and in third line you take the space separated integer describe the scores. So I think you understand how the input are taken from user. So after that I go to my output section. So this is handled by the lock stop code. So input format and output format is handled by the lock stop code which are present in the editor and you simply go to write two functions. So your output will be correct if your student class constructor and calculate method are properly implemented. So that means you simply write two method for this 
problem one is the student class constructor and another is calculate method so here is the sample input here the first name last name and id are present and is number of test case and the score so after that you simply print name and first name and then last name and in the second line id and the third line simply print grade so you need not worry about the input format and output format because is all written in the stub code in the editor so here is the explanation present so two scores are given in this input 180 and if you sum up the 180 it simply gives 180 and after that you simply calculate the average of the two number so the average of the two number is 90 so for the 90 we simply go through the grading scale given in this problem so for 90, 90 to 100, it simply print the O letter. So here the output is O. So it is a simple problem. So I simply go to my academic editor and click in the three dot. And some code are open. So this is a lock stop code. And here also one three dot present. So here some code also present. And here all the comment are present. So I simply start from the main. So here the string first name, string last name, int id and int number score are present. So that means two string variable and two integer variable are declared. So after that it takes the four variable from user. First name, last name, id and the name score. So here the vector int and score present. So that means here vector type or the dynamic array are used here also include a vector header file to use the vector type of array so here is the for loop it is a simple for loop and you repeat this loop for the num score time because num score is the test cases so it simply loop and then take input from user so after taking the input from user it simply push back this input into the dynamic array so dynamic array variable name is core so in this course array type variable it simply stored all the value so that means we take user input and then store it in the dynamic array so after that it simply declare the student and then the print person function and then it simply print the grade in the output screen so this is the main function so here the past and class is present so it is the locked stop code that means you did not edit this code here and you simply go to this class student and person and you simply complete this class to solve this problem so i simply remove all the comment present in this class so i start writing the student class so inside of student class the four parameters first name last name identification identification and one is the vector type score and after that you simply write the person class so so inside the person class the first name last name and the identification the identification are present so after that you simply put a comma here and write the test code test scores so inside of test score you simply pass the scores which is stored the all the value of, of the score so after that you simply complete the calculate function so calculate calculate function and inside of calculate function you simply declare an average variable and initialize it into zero and after that you simply make a for loop i equal to zero and i less than test score 
size and then increment the i variable so i think here one yes are present so inside the for loop the average plus equal to the test score and then put i so it simply sum up all the test score and after that you come from the for loop and then calculate average equal to average by test scores and put size so i calculate the average so after that you simply make a if statement so if average greater than or equal to 90 so that means you return o on the output screen because here the grading scale are present so 90 to 100 is O, 80 to 90 is E, 70 to 80 is A, 55 to 70 is P, 40 to 55 D. So we simply make some if and else if for this grading scale. So after that else if the average greater than or equal to the 80, then you simply return the e and out of that another else if and inside of else if average greater than or equal to the 70 then you simply return the a and out of that another else if and average greater than or equal to 55 then you simply return p so we make another else if and if average greater than or equal to the 40 then it simply return d and finally the else so is simply return the t so i think the code is done so I simply run the code and it shows that the sample test case 0 is passed so I simply press the submit code button check all the test cases so all the test cases are passed and we got 30 point so I think you understand the code so in this series we solve the 30 days of code in HackerNet so I solve all the 30 problem of this series so if you solve the problem with me then you simply press the subscribe button because when I upload a new problem you simply get notification and press the like button if you understand the code and please comment below for your problem this is for the day 12 see you in the next video thank you friend